Chef J brings you another exciting episode of Culinary Creations. For today's recipe, you will need three cups of salmon cut into one inch pieces, one quarter cup vegetable stock, one half large onion cut into thin strips, red pepper, green pepper, and orange bell peppers cut into small cubes, celery, one lemon with lemon zest, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, one half cup of breadcrumbs, one quarter cup of red pepper flakes, four tablespoons of cayenne pepper, and one tablespoon of chili pepper. You will also need salt and pepper and a quarter cup to one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Hey Black Planet, how you doing? This is Chef Jay and you are watching Culinary Creations. Today we're going to be doing a Creole salmon cake with our own spicy mayo. Yes, that's right, we're going to make our own mayonnaise. It's very simple and it'll be easy to do. So I'm going to get some of salmon cakes going. I'm going to start off with the traditional trinity is, which is some onion, some celery, and some bell pepper. Now for this particular one, I'm going to add a few additions in there. I'm using red, pe red bell pepper as well as orange bell pepper, okay? I'm going to get all that in there nice, and we're going to let this cook down. So it's nice and soft. We don't want it very soft. We still want to have a lot of that uh, texture to the actual vegetables when we put them in the cakes. I don't really want to have a whole mush of things. I want everything to be very clean, very crisp um, in the flavors that we have for the cakes. The uh, other thing that I'm going to add, because I happen to like sesame, is I'm going to take a few of our sesame seeds and I'm going to sprinkle them right in there, okay? This is going to give a nice little flavor to toasted sesame to our salmon cakes, all right? Okay, so as you can see, everything is coming together, and oops, one got away. Yes, it's perfect. I added a little bit of salt. I didn't want to add the salt in too early, because as we know, salt tends to make the moisture come out of vegetables. Okay, so our filling is nice and cold. We're going to take that and we're going to put that right into a bowl. Okay, make sure you don't forget anything in there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to take some of our breadcrumbs and we're going to sprinkle those in there. Then we're going to take our salmon and that's going to go right in there, okay? I'm trying to go for a nice tight pack, okay, when I push down, I want to see the salmon stick together. Okay, so I have my sheet pan lined with aluminum foil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some olive oil. I'm going to use the best tools in the world. I'm going to spread that olive oil around the entire surface of my sheet pan. Now I have my salmon cakes already chilled. So I'm just going to take a small cake. I'm going to form it. Okay. Okay. So we formed our salmon cakes. We're going to take a pastry brush and a little bit of olive oil. Now if you really want to carry through this sesame theme, you can mix some uh, sesame oil in here. I did not. And you just want to brush the tops of them with some oil. Okay? Not a lot. You just want to brush the tops nice so that the tops get brown. And we're going to put these into a 350 degree oven until they get nice and golden brown. And there's the dish. Creole salmon cakes with a bell pepper relish and a spicy mayo. Enjoy.